Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just a quick video here. I'm going to show you uh, basically, you know, if your computer, if you had it for about a year, uh, two years, you know, whatever, six months, whatever the deal may be, and you feel like it's running a little bit slower than it was when you first bought the computer, I'm going to show you a couple quick programs that come on your computer uh, that might help it bring it back to the speed uh, when you first had purchased it. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, uh, if you have uh, Microsoft XP, you'll have like a little run box down here. Uh, but all you have to do is put in msconfig, that's M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G, and you'll see the program come up here. Uh, if you have XP or something, once you hit enter, it'll just bring this up automatically. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go up to your startup, and you're basically looking for anything, uh, anything that's Microsoft, you want to go ahead and keep it. Uh, or anything that you know that you keep, like uh, me personally, I use Key Lemon uh, facial recognition. Uh, so I want to obviously keep that on, so that way it'll keep uh, asking me for my face instead of a password. Uh, but all these other things, like you see down here, that I have unchecked: uh, Google Chrome, Adobe Updater, uh, Adobe, you know, CS 5.5 Service Manager, uh, all this stuff, Facebook Update, Google Update, iTunes. You know, this stuff you don't really need on all the time with your computer. Uh, basically, what you're doing when you turn on the computer, you know, it has to load the operating system, which you'll see on here. Uh, right here and then you're basically loading you know however many programs you have here 10 15 20 programs all at once uh, so that's why it takes so long when you start up your computer as you can see I, I knock mine down to about you know about 10 programs uh, and that helps it to load a lot quicker uh, I'll also show you another program real quick that one real quick again was MS config uh, at the startup uh, you know they got the services you can look at the stuff that's running right now and stopped uh, and you can see what's running at that time. Uh, but let me show you another program real fast. Uh, if you go into your start menu and into your accessories folder, uh, you'll see a uh, system tools folder inside that one. Uh, one of the ones that you can use is a disk defragmenter. Uh, this right here, basically your files, uh, when in defragging, uh, when you save files, sometimes it gets saved in, in different spots. Half of your file will be in the front of your hard drive and the other half of the file might be a couple magnetic disks uh, below it. Uh, so the computer has to search for those and open it up. So that's why that takes a little longer too uh, when you open up programs sometimes. So when you open this up, you'll see, you know, C drive, uh, you know, 50% fragmented. Uh, you can go ahead and just defragment the disk. Uh, if it doesn't say anything, you hit analyze. I keep most of my stuff on my storage hard drive. Uh, my C drive is pretty much my solid state. I just keep the operating system on there. Uh, so it doesn't really get too fragmented for me, uh, but I do run that up once every couple months. Anytime it gets like above 30% for me personally, I'll go ahead and run it. It doesn't take very long to do. Uh, also, one more program that you can use as well is in the accessories folder also. Uh, system tools and disk cleanup. On this one, uh, obviously, you know, if you have other drives, you can pick which one you want to do. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the C drive. Uh, it'll basically look for uh, full files in certain areas that you don't normally delete or look for. Uh, for example here, downloaded program files, uh, temporary internet files, you can empty your recycling bin. Uh, you can see on here, uh, some of you might have something you know rather large here, temporary files, uh, like mine's 3.3 gigs, uh, but that's for my uh, Windows Live Movie Maker and my Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it saves the video files while I edit them, uh, so I'm not going to delete that myself. Uh, but this other stuff, I mean, you can see I keep it kind of clean. Uh, there's only two megabytes other than that three gigs. All you do is you hit OK. It's going to ask you if you want to delete the files. And mine will go quick. If you got a bunch of stuff, this may take a couple minutes to clear out. Uh, but basically, with those three programs, uh, you can pretty much keep your computer running, you know, like the day you bought it, and save you, you know, 40, 50 bucks from going to one of those big stores for them to do it for you. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my channel. I keep a lot of cool videos on there uh, and new videos every week. Uh, so yeah, like the video if it helped you and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.